Christmas, a time for family memories. It's a fair bet that when you sit down for your family feast, sooner or later the conversation is going to turn to, I remember when. Well, this year, why not use the opportunity to start exploring your family history? Some of the older guests at your table will have memories of the last big war. Even if they were not in uniform, they will recall what it was like to be growing up when everything was in short supply or not to be had at any price. This is how our parents or grandparents made do on very little. Many young couples were married at Christmas. With wartime travel restrictions, family reunions were hard to arrange. When long distances were involved, there was also the matter of cost and time. For many, Christmas was one of the few periods when they had time off. So it made sense to make one family gathering serve a dual purpose, a celebration of Christmas and a celebration of the start of married life. There was not much for Santa to give the children. Make do and men was the rule. Fathers of a practical turn of mind were busy at the workbench, while mothers took to sewing and knitting in a big way. But the party spirit was as strong as ever, even if we did have to make our own entertainments. Older people then could remember the good old days, when there was plenty of everything, if you could afford it. And yet further back we go, now to the Great War, 1914. Another period of shortages and the ever-present fear of bad news from the front. But the Christmas harmony could not be entirely quenched. One of the strongest images handed down to us from the Great War is of German and British troops joining together in no man's land to exchange greetings, sing carols and even play a game of football. The chances are that someone in your family fought in the Great War. Did they perhaps leave behind diaries or letters? Anything that would give you greater insight into your family history? It was, of course, the Victorians who really made Christmas as we know it. The Victorians popularised the Christmas tree, the Christmas card, the Christmas cracker, even the Christmas cake. The Victorians were romantics who loved looking back to what they imagined were the idyllic Christmases of Merry England. It was towards the end of the Victorian period that Christmas shopping took off. The new department stores made a great thing of their Christmas window displays. And every gift shop had to have a Santa's Grotto. Not least, Harrods. Then promoted, can you believe this, as the cheapest store in London. The Victorians have the reputation of being dull old sticks. But they knew how to enjoy themselves. In the big houses, there would be a Christmas ball. But if these pictures are anything to go by, there was more fun to be had downstairs. For those in town and of more modest means, the big event of the year was the Christmas panto. It was the Victorians who made the pantomime a peculiarly British institution, with the emphasis on spectacle and over-the-top performances. The children loved it all, but if there were dancing girls, the fathers loved it even more. Your family history is just a click away at Jeans Reunited. So why not use this holiday as your moment in history to start building your family tree? Start Your Family Tree Week is from 26th of December to 1st of January at jeansreunited.co.uk.